our email question tonight, it's, 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 uh, goes back to this issue, so you may have already answered some of these questions, but Sheila asked, some states are raising the legal standard for liability in nursing homes, so you can't sue if your loved one dies of COVID-19 in a home. Is that being discussed here, and how would it work? And of course, obviously, you said it is being um, discussed here, but I'm, I'm curious if someone, uh, you know, if you have a loved one who has passed away at a nursing home, what what should you be doing? What questions should you be asking? Right. Um, how do you, if there is a case, how do you make that uh, case stronger? Yeah, and again, we're in uncharted territories. The first thing that you should do if you have a loved one that has uh, died, whether it's from this, you know, particular virus or any other. Uh, situation, then, and, and if you have any questions that you don't believe everything is a, above board, I mean, and again, you know, people go into nursing homes, and unfortunately, a lot of them pass away from natural causes, but if you believe that something uh, happened uh, because of the negligence or, or uh, the situation going on, then yes, you need to contact a lawyer. There very well may not be a case, and, and what they're discussing now in Alabama is for because this is such extraordinary times, regular negligence by the nursing home is probably going to be forgiven. And it's, it, but you know, what we're trying to figure out is what is not forgiven. The nursing homes want to, um, you know, they want to make it willful uh, conduct or bad faith. And, uh, but, but we believe it should be a, a little higher standard as, as far as recklessness and things of that nature. So. The, the bottom line is if you have a, a family member that gets infected or has a situation, contact a lawyer and he or she can try to sort this out. 